Hello everybody, Tom here, welcome back to the gear room, and I just received the mail, RAV Power uh, Dynamo on the go power bank. RAV Power uh, contacted me a while ago and asked me if I'd be interested in doing a review on this package, and I said uh, that I would. I've been uh, actually looking at these for a while now, and uh, I'm very happy to, uh, to be able to give this one uh, a go over. And I haven't used it yet, so we're just going to do an unboxing, and then uh, uh, I'll get it all charged up, and we'll we'll charge a couple of phones and uh, use it out on the, out on the trail. But anyway, I wanted to open up the package so you guys can see what we got here. There's a manual. Uh, this one has the uh, uh, the 7800 milliamp high capacity. Uh, batteries in it so uh, it should it should uh, charge a couple of phones I would uh, well, would imagine uh, it's got it says here it's got eight uh, LED lights that can act as an outdoor uh, camping light or flashlight and on with just one of the LEDs turned on it'll last 72 hours continuously so that's kind of neat according to the instructions uh, the uh, it has a safety mode so that when you are when you're charging your phone, it doesn't overcharge your phone. It actually goes into a standby mode, so that's kind of that's a really good feature. So if you if you plug in your phone when you go to bed at night, it'll go into standby mode and be charged in the morning when you when you get out of uh, get out of your tent. All right. Well, they didn't want that coming off very easily, but um, there we go. There's here's the overall charger. There's a clip. And there's the lantern. And it says it's got two LEDs there. There's four. All four of them would mean that it's fully charged, and it is not at the moment. There's your USB port. Your mini USB port. Two kind of the uh, cables they gave us. That box is empty there. That over here. All right, here's our mini USB cable. Looks like the same one that comes with my phone. And a big carabiner. Neat. Pretty awesome. All right, let's just get a quick weight on this thing. Okay, we're set to ounces. 7.4 ounces with carabiner. So 8.64 ounces. By 245 grams. But this is a charger and a light, so it's kind of dual purpose. Let me just give you a side-by-side -side comparison here. This is uh, a lantern by Black Diamond. And it's got also got a flashlight there. And uh, we really like this one. It puts out a lot of light. Here they are, side-by-side. -side. Pretty comparable, actually. All right, and of course, the... Uh, Video camera's got to dim down, but there's the uh, black diamond next to it. That gives off quite a bit of light. I'm pretty impressed with that. So far, so good. And of course, if you just wanted to use it as a flashlight. There you go. Awesome. 
backpacks. Different mags. Alright, here's what it says on the back of it. Alright guys, well it's I'm pretty impressed with it uh, initially. So I will get this thing completely charged up and I'll let my phone uh, go completely dead and we'll see how long it takes to get a charge. And I'll have to I'll read through the manual a little bit more and see how long it takes to recharge this thing. Alright everybody, this is day two. I charge this thing all night and it's got a full charge in it all four of these LEDs are lit up and I didn't charge my phone as you can see it says it's only got about 10% um, in it uh, last time I looked at it anyway yeah, so I'm discharging it's at 10% And it's about 10.47 or so. So I'm going to um, go ahead and plug this thing in and let it charge. See how long it takes to charge it. According to the uh, instructions, yeah. this is the input. And it's actually got an IN on it. The output. Take your adapter. Alright, it says it's charging. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave it. It's 1048. As you can see, I'll come back when it's charged up. And we'll see how much power is left in the uh, Rav Power Dynamo. Alright guys, it's been a couple of hours. So I decided to come back and see where we're at here. It's... Uh, hundred percent full awesome it's 121 in the afternoon at the moment so it's been a couple hours and uh, it's full now this should have uh, turned itself off once it was full and it must have because it doesn't say it's still charging so that's pretty neat I really like that only took a couple of hours to get a full charge outstanding and it looks like it used up two of the LEDs. Well, almost two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go ahead and use my phone again and uh, and dissipate it. And I'm not going to charge the RAV power until it's dead. I'll just keep using it on my phone. And um, see how many charges I get out of it uh, for my phone. All right, guys, I will be back shortly. Hello, everybody. Tom here, and welcome back to the gear room. Just wanted to wrap things up with the, uh, with the RAV Power. Uh, we just got back from a, a, a weekend, and I was using this to charge my phone, and uh, it did a great job. It, um, uh, I got two and a half charges out of it, and it wasn't, it wasn't dead, but it just wasn't enough to... Uh, uh, to to charge the uh, the phone, but um, two charges was was plenty. At uh, having my phone on um, uh, what is it, airplane mode, and I was just using the GPS function. The phone lasted a long time anyway, and it only took a couple of hours for this thing to uh, to charge it uh, fully. So it it did a great job. It takes it takes a little bit longer to uh, to charge it back up to full power. Um, but uh, it holds its charge for a while. I I, uh, I recharged this one a couple of days ago, and it's uh, it's still got full full power on it. And uh, having the added feature of the light uh, was was really a good a good thing too. Um, really happy with it. I uh, like I said, I got two and a half charges out of it, and it wasn't dead. Uh, you could still use the light, and uh, I really never ran it dry. Uh, there was there was there was no need for uh, for a weekend, so um, I'm gonna 
uh, still continue to use this thing, and it's definitely found its way into my pack. Uh, I'd like to thank the guys over at Rav Power for sending me this uh, to review, and um, I'm really, I'm really impressed with it. Uh, I think the price on these things are around thirty dollars, depending on where you get, where you buy yours. Um, uh, I believe this one was, was sent uh, via uh, Amazon, so. Uh, I'll, I'll look up a link and I'll see if I can put that in the description box for you guys. Um, but uh, yeah, check them out. It, it works good if you uh, if you use your other electronics when you're out in the uh, in the forest and uh, enjoying the outside. Uh, then this thing comes in really handy. Uh, Teresa and I love to uh, use the uh, uh, the mapping softwares and uh, uh, software that comes with with uh, with some of these uh, apps that you get and. Uh, you know they'll, they'll run your phone uh, dead if you uh, if you don't watch them. So having this in your pack or day pack is a uh, is a great feature. Uh, added bonus is that it's a light or a lantern. So uh, really happy with it and uh, I like it. Okay, well I'm going to conclude this review and like I said I have no problem recommending this for any type of multi-day uh, trip where you know you're going to be using your electronics it's just uh, uh, it'll be with me on my canoe trips and uh, on a few of my backpacking trips where I know I'm going to uh, be using my phone a lot or uh, or anything else uh, this thing will actually will power uh, small uh, iPods and iPads and uh, and other stuff too so it's a uh, it's a great little tool and for the weight it's uh it, it's it's pretty good uh you know a lot of the ultra lighters will say it's it's not necessary but uh you know to each their own and uh, i have no problems recommending it so thanks again rap power and you guys the next one take care and we'll see you on down the trail